Microsoft introduced Power Toys a long time back, but it wasn't that much useful earlier. Now they have made significant changes to make the Power Toys more useful. The purpose of Power Toys is to fasten some repetitive work and increase efficiency. They have included some exciting features like Image Resizer, Power Rename, and Keyboard Manager. In this video, we will see a detailed instruction to all these new features of Power Toys. I will also show you how you can use these features to ease your work, so watch the whole video. Before we start this guide, press that like button and subscribe to our channel. How to install Power Toys To install the Power Toys, you need to visit the GitHub Power Toys release section. The link is in the description. Scroll down and reach the Assets section. Here you can see zip files with the source code and the installer. I'm going to download the installer. Now run it and follow the instructions to install it. The new version of the Power Toys requires .NET Core. If you don't have it, click Yes to download and install .NET Core. If you are running an older version of Power Toys and want to update, the process is the same. However, the new release comes with the auto update feature, so you don't need to do that again. Let's thank our sponsor, Malwarefox, for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Overview of Settings Interface PowerToys Settings Interface got new items. On the General tab, you can see the Administrator mode. PowerToys might not work properly on the applications running as administrators. That's when the Administrator mode comes up. You can run it as an administrator temporarily or use the Always Run option. You can select the theme of the program. You can also enable the Run at Startup option. The Update section got the Auto Update feature as I mentioned earlier. Now let's check the features of Power Toys in detail. Fancy Zones Fancy Zones lets you organize multiple windows on your desktop. It is a useful feature for people who want to work on different programs at the same time. Click on the Launch Zones editor. Here you can choose the templates or you can design your own custom zones. Fancy Zones supports up to 40 zones. To choose the templates, increase or decrease the number of zones, then select the template. You can control the spaces around the zones also. If you aren't satisfied with the template, you can also edit it and use it as a custom template. Now click on Save and Apply. To use the fancy zones, press the Shift key while dragging the window. The zone template will appear. Now drop it where you would like it to be, and the window will resize according to the zone. To make changes in the fancy zones, you can use the shortcut Windows plus Grave key. It is one of the most unused keys on the keyboard and it is placed before 1. Well, you can change the shortcut also if you don't like it. There are plenty of other options that you can use according to your need, like move newly created windows to their last known zone. You can change the zone colors and adjust the opacity as well. Also, there is an option to add excluded apps that will not react to the fancy zone. File Explorer Preview This feature lets you preview the content of the files without opening them. All you have to do is enable it in File Explorer by clicking on the View menu, then Preview Pane. The File Explorer had this feature already for a long time, but you couldn't preview the SVG and Markdown files. The Power Toys allows you to do so. Image Resizer This is something people like me could use. Content creators often need to resize the images before using them. It took a lot of time earlier, as you have to open them in the photo editor, then resize, 
but now you can resize several images just by right-clicking. You can add the most used image sizes in the settings. To do that, click on the Add Size Plus button, then name the size. Now choose from Fill, Fit, and Stretch, then enter the image size. You can enter sizes in centimeters, inches, percent, and pixels. You can also set the encoder and image quality. There is an option to customize the new name of the file using different parameters. There is an option to use the original date modified also. Now it's time to test it. Select the images that you want to resize. Yes, you can select as many images as you want. Now right-click and choose Resize Pictures. Then select the size. There are a few other options here, like if there are smaller pictures in your selection and the size you have selected is larger, this option won't increase the size of your smaller images. You can choose this to resize the original pictures and don't create copies. If you untick this option, you will get the exact sizes, but the picture's orientation might not be correct. Then click on the Resize button. That's it. If you want your images to resize and then move in another folder, you can do that even more quickly. Just use the right mouse button to drag your pictures to the folder and drop it. Then select Resize Pictures here. Now select the size and click Resize. This feature is going to save a lot of time for me. I'm sure for you as well. Keyboard Manager The Keyboard Manager gives you two options to make your life easier. You can remap the keys and shortcuts. This option is useful in case one of the keys on your keyboard isn't working and there is a key that you won't use often. You can assign that faulty key to the unused one. Let me show you how. Let's suppose the S key on my laptop is defective and I want to assign it to the Page Up button, which I don't use often. So I click on Remap a Key, click on the plus sign, click on the Type key, and press the Page Up button. I'm going to use this key. Now click the OK. Now click the drop-down box under the Mapped To section and select the S key. Click on OK and then Continue anyway. Now whenever I press the Page Up button, it will type S. Problem solved. By the same method, you can remap the shortcut. It lets you use your keyboard the way you want. Power Rename Power Rename is another useful feature of Power Toys. It allows you to rename several files simultaneously, and there is a Find and Replace option also. Here, I have a folder with lots of files and subfolders. To rename all the files in this folder and subfolder, right-click on it. You will see the Power Rename in the Context menu. Click on it. Now here you can see there are 3,947 items. In most of these files, there are YT written. I want to change that to YouTube. So I will type YT in the Search For box and YouTube in the Replace box. Now you can see the preview of the names. Here it has found 696 items with YT and is going to rename them. There are a bunch of other options like Case Sensitive, Exclude Folders, Item Name Only. You can use them according to your need. Now click the Rename button to rename them in one go. Power Toys Run Power Toys Run is nothing but the Windows Search, which appears in an interesting way and shows better results. If you enable this option and press the Alt plus Space button, it will appear in the middle of the screen. Here you can search for programs and settings and click on them to open. There are a few options also, like Run as Administrator and Open Containing Folder. If you click somewhere else, it disappears, and when you press Alt plus Space again, it appears. You can change the Power Toys Run shortcut from the settings. You can change the number of results displayed also. Windows 10 Shortcut Guide Windows 10 has so many shortcuts that one cannot remember easily. This is where Windows 10 Shortcut Guide comes into the picture. 
It shows the shortcut guide on your home screen when you press and hold the Windows key for around one second. Now you can see and choose what you are about to do. So if I am going to open the Action Center, I will press A here and then leave the Windows key. Power Toys was ignored a lot in the past, but now they have finally started working on it and I am sure you will see many other exciting features in the Power Toys soon. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.